So y'all know I'm always keep y'all in the loop. If you know me, y'all know that R&B Wednesdays is for the ladies. And I always make sure all the ladies have a good time. If I ever see women at my bar um, buying drinks by themselves with no man, I normally will offer them extra drinks or offer them discounts on food or free hookah. You know, I just like to make sure everybody's enjoying themselves. So last night, I randomly ran into two females that was at the bar and um, I saw them buying drinks. So I took some shots with them and it was nothing, nothing too major. Um, wasn't trying to holler at them or anything like that. It's just, I seen two, two young black women buying drinks on their own. So I added something onto what they had going on. So I, um, I go back to my section, I'm partying. I consistently walks around my club and text on tables. Um, this is just something that I do. I'm always making sure that my servers are taking care of the people that I brought into my establishment. So I walks around the club, make sure everybody's okay. I wind up going back to the bar, the young ladies sit over there, I greet them again. You know, this time I, I, I join into conversation with them. You know, I ask them where they from, they say Carolina, you know. Um, I ask what part, you know, cause I, I live in Carolina for a little bit. Um. So we have small chats and then um, I guess my bartender to give us another round of shots. So we take the shots, boom, I leave. I go back to my section. And then the night comes, we all in there, me and my homeboys, some females, we all just talking loud. We saying we about to go to an after hour. So the young ladies are still in there too. So they ask me, they're like, hey, um, isn't that you right there? You know, we got the picture of me inside of the club. I'm like, yeah, that's me. Well, I actually, I always tell people it ain't me because I my mom put that up there. So I'll be like, nah, it ain't me. It ain't me. So, anyways, he's like, y'all going to swim after us? I'm like, yeah, we're going to after hours. So, they're like, oh, can we go? I'm like, yeah, that's cool. So, like, I bet we're going to call our Uber. So, I'm like, oh, well, we all about the mob down there. Y'all could just rock, jump in with us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We, we always does this. This is not nothing out the normal. This is just me being regular, kicking shit. You know what I'm saying? So, boom, they jump in the car. We ride to um the after hour. It's like 18 minutes away from the club. We get to after hour. We get some more bottles. We drink and we partying. The girls is mad cool, yo. I ain't trying to holler at them. They ain't, they ain't too much really trying to holler at me. Um, you know, they dancing on each other, being girls. So it gets to around like 5.20, 5.30 a.m. So now I'm like, I'm ready to go. You know what I'm saying? So I tell the girls, I'm like, hey, look, y'all going to um, call an Uber because um, we about to all get up out of here. So they're like, yeah, okay, bet. So when they call an Uber, the Uber like 20 minutes away. So I'm like... Well, in like a couple minutes, it's going to drop down. So we wait like eight more minutes. It ain't really dropped down too much. So at this time, it's like 5.30, 40 or something like that a.m. So I'm really burnt. Like, I'm drunk as hell, bro. Like, I'm like, nigga, if I stay here any longer, I'm not going to be able to drive home. My crib only like eight minutes up the street. So I'm like, look, y'all can call an Uber from my building because I'm not taking them in my building because there's no need. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't pressed because my building is so secure. You know, you can't get in. Can't get on the elevator, you can't get in the building, you can't do nothing at my building. So I'm like, y'all can just ride me to the building and call an Uber for me. At least I'll be in my parking garage where I can goddamn go go on upstairs, go to home. So I um we jump in the whip. So they like, um, take a shot, take a shot. I'm like, nah, I don't want no more liquor. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm lit, I'm toasted. So it's a gas station on the corner. So I stop at the gas station and grab me a water and a, a slim jump. So, and a Sprite, I always, I always do this. I always have a Sprite for the morning because I be feeling mad sick and I don't like ginger ale. So I got them, um, stop at the store. So I go in the store, I get that, boom, I get back in the car. So they're like, how far is the house from here? So I'm like, it's like three minutes up the street. They're like, all right, bet. They're like, well, um, it's only a little bit left of liquor. We got to take this last shot. We might not even see you no more, but we appreciate the hospitality and, you know, making sure we good, da, da, da. So I'm like, all right, whatever. Take the drink. I, I drive home. I made it to the, my house. The last thing I remember, y'all, I woke up at, I think, like, 12.30 this morning, afternoon. These girls done too. Both my Cubans, it's like 60K, took four of my gold diamond rings, my pistol, and a couple thousand out of my pocket. I don't even remember what the fuck happened, yo. But now... I came to the hospital and they're giving me IVs and all type of stuff to uh, flush out my system from the drugs that was inside of me. Um, I threw up a lot. I guess whatever it was was eating the lining of my stomach, so a lot of blood came up with the throw up. 
definitely doodle boy, definitely diarrhea, and um, just a real, real bad headache. So, uh, I say that to say, I would never in a million years would have thought that that would have happened to me, for real, right? Never. And the drug that they gave me, if they would have gave me too much of it, I would have OD on it. You know what I'm saying? I could have OD. And um, these girls are stupid. Just dumb because they stupid ass actually used a debit card in my club. They used a debit card in the club, so I have your transactions. And I'm able to pull your name and everything from the bank for your information. Then y'all called an Uber to my club. We got you on surveillance getting out of the Uber, so I get the license plate from the car. They also took an Uber from where we was at. They got cameras. So the detectives, the police got to get that information because I can't get that. But for my restaurant, I got you, bro. Like, And I say that to say, like, I really don't care what happens to y'all. But I know one thing. Y'all ass going to jail. Y'all niggas could have took me away from my motherfucking kids. For real. My son would have had to deal with watching his dad on Google or something saying his dad overdosed. You know what I'm saying? Like The world is really bad. And y'all need to be very careful out there. Be careful of things you take into your system. Especially when you hang around strangers because you would never know what their true intentions are seriously just need to stay alive for those who love you you need to be more aware more careful of the environment of the people you mingle with uh, for them to the girls keep you know like luring you take the drink take the drink I understand how these kind of ladies operate you know, they could be kind of seductive, like you're just vibing according to what they're giving you. And before you know it, they get you knocked out and they steal from you. It's not just being knocked out as the problem. How about, you know, you getting OD'd with whatever substance they gave you in the drink. So guys, you just need to be very careful out there when you are enjoying your life. Yeah, I understand life is full of fun. Yeah. Enjoy your life, but be aware of the environment. Be aware of the people you're mingling with. Be very conscious, very self-aware. Aware of yourself, aware of the environment you're in, so that you won't um, get hurt like this man. I just wanted to share this story because um, I just believe um, somebody will learn from it and don't trust nobody trust nobody at all do not trust anybody and finally i'll just say this um there's an adage that goes um what you take into your system oh, sorry what what you what happens outside of your body doesn't really affect you like what happened inside of your body in other words what you take what what probably like i didn't need drugs was just on top of the skin it wouldn't have affected him much more than the one that he took in, the substance, whatever they gave him. So um, it's just fortunate that he's still living. He would have left his children and nobody would know what happened because if he were to be dead, nobody would have known uh, the real story. Probably they'll say, oh, he overdosed. He's been hiding to take drugs and he overdosed without people verifying, knowing what exactly happened. If proper investigation is not done, it would, nobody would have known that this is what happened to this man. But all I can say right now is just, guys, be very careful out there. If you're my subscriber, anybody that come in, in touch with this uh, video, just um, be very careful out there. The world is really bad. People no longer have conscience. Everybody's after the money. Nobody cares about nothing. You don't care about people's life. Everyone cares about money. Just um, money. So guys, leave your thoughts in the comment section. And don't fail to subscribe to this video if you've not yet. And I'll see you in our next video.